Situated off the northwestern coast of Europe, Ireland's geographic position promotes genetic uniformity and isolation. Several traits occur at high frequencies among the Irish compared to mainland European populations. Research on ancient Irish genomes indicates that the current Irish genetic landscape was formed approximately 3,500 years ago during the Irish Bronze Age. Significant historical migrations to Ireland include the Norse Vikings in the late first millennium, the Norman invasion in the 12th century, and the plantations of the 16th and 17th centuries. The effect of these migrations on the modern Irish genome remains largely unknown. Earlier efforts to define genetic structure in the Irish population mainly used uniparental markers. Y-chromosome and mitochondrial haplotypes, common in Ireland, show genetic continuity with those found in other Western European populations. Within the Irish population, there is considerable geographic structure in Y-chromosome haplotypes, with an east-west gradient of decreasing Y-chromosome haplotype diversity, signs of dominance in the northwest of Ireland, and in Munster, two distinct haplotypes associated with the north and south of the province, respectively. Additionally, analysis of surnames of presumed Norse origin suggests minimal Norse Y-chromosome integration in Ireland. The initial autosomal evidence for population structure within Ireland emerged from the analysis of ABO and rhesus blood group frequencies. Despite its limited resolution, this early research indicated a general east-west gradient in blood groups, similar to later findings from Y-chromosome studies. Recent research using extensive genome-wide SNP data has revealed that Irish haplotype diversity is lower compared to other European populations, and both runs of homozygosity and linkage disequilibrium are slightly higher in Irish genomes. Previous studies have not been able to identify population structure within Ireland, only noting that the Irish population diverges from nearby Scottish and English populations. Recent research has shown detailed structure within the British Isles, but the extent of such structure across Ireland is unknown. To examine the fine-scale population structure within Ireland, scientists compiled a combined SNP genotype dataset of 536 Irish individuals, 101 Scottish, 131 Welsh, 96 Orcadians, and 1,239 English individuals. Scientists conducted fine structure analysis on this dataset, which identified 48 clusters. They found that most Irish people formed seven main groups, which they labelled as Gaelic Irish. These groups were consistent and showed fine details of Irish population structure. They found that most Irish individuals belong to one major group, which is closely related to a group from the Orkney Islands. This grouping is due to similar genetic distances between Ireland, Orkney, and the rest of Britain, and shared Norwegian ancestry. Within the Irish group, scientists identified three main regions, the north, the centre, and the south. The distribution of these Irish clusters follows both geographic and political borders within Ireland, particularly the boundaries of the four Irish provinces. The study also found genetic connections between the north of Ireland and Scotland, particularly the Gaelic-speaking regions. Another significant group, called Northern Ireland, or NI, in the study, includes individuals with mixed Irish and British ancestry. This group consists of Irish people, mainly from the north, along with Scottish and English individuals. The mixed ancestry is reflected in the higher presence of English and Scottish surnames in these clusters compared to the Gaelic-Irish clusters. To further compare the genetic distances between the observed Irish and British clusters, scientists performed FEST analysis, computing the best value between Irish and British fine structure clusters. As expected, and consistent with the fine structure analyses and previous estimates, genetic differentiation across Ireland and Britain is subtle, with the greatest genetic distances between Orcadian and non-Orcadian clusters. 
scientists conducted chromopainter analysis and compared modern Irish and British clusters to the Irish Neolithic Bellina Hattie, 3,343 to 3,020 BC, and Irish Bronze Age Rathlin I, 2,026 to 1,534 BC genomes. The results showed that most clusters within Ireland and Britain share a similar affinity with Bellina Hattie, with no significant differences between individual Irish clusters. Rathlin One's highest haplotypic donations were to modern Celtic-speaking populations, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland, with Connacht and Dublin showing the highest affinity. These findings suggest a homogeneous contribution of these ancient genomes to the current genetic structure in Ireland. To identify gene flow barriers within Ireland and Britain, scientists conducted EAMS analysis. The analysis revealed several gene flow barriers, with the strongest around Wales between Ireland and England, and another between Scotland and Orkney. Within England, Barriers were observed in the southwest, separating Devon from neighbouring counties and Wales, in the Pennine Hills, and along the English Scottish border. Additionally, two corridors of gene flow were identified one along the Welsh English border, and another in northern England. In Scotland, a gene flow corridor connects sampled regions, while two areas in Wales correspond to the primary ancestry of North and South Welsh samples. The Western Isles and Highlands of Scotland exhibit low gene flow, indicating relative isolation. In Ireland, there is a general trend of gene flow across the island, with three areas of low migration, the west coast of Connacht, near the Leinster-Munster border, and within Ulster, extending into Scotland. This reflects the genetic differentiation between Gaelic's Ireland and Britain, especially Scotland. A corridor of high genetic migration between northeast Ulster and southwest Scotland suggests a link between individuals of shared Irish and British ancestry. To investigate the origins of Irish genetic clusters, Scientists used a regression-based admixture analysis to model Irish and British clusters as mixtures of different European populations. They aimed to identify distinct admixture profiles for each cluster. They performed fine structure analysis on 6,021 European individuals, identifying 134 clusters. Results showed that for the seven Gaelic-Irish clusters, 80% of ancestry was best explained by clusters from France, Belgium, Denmark, and Norway. French ancestry, particularly from the northwest region, cluster FRA1, was the highest, representing 30% in Gaelic-Irish clusters. The Gaelic-Irish clusters had the lowest proportions of German ancestry, indicating minimal Germanic or Saxon influence, with Orkney and English clusters showing higher Germanic ancestry. Additionally, Ireland showed lower Belgian-like ancestry compared to Britain, highlighting Ireland's relative isolation from mainland Europe. The Northern Ireland clusters display ancestry proportions that are intermediate between Irish and British groups. As German-like ancestry decreases, French-like ancestry increases, indicating a mix of Irish and British genealogical ancestry. A notable finding is the significant Norwegian-like ancestry in Irish clusters, also observed in Orcadian and Scottish clusters, but less so in English and Welsh clusters. This Norwegian ancestry likely originates from the north or western coasts of Norway, regions linked to Norse Viking activity. This is consistent with historical accounts of Viking presence in Ireland. Additional analysis showed notable Irish, Scottish, and Orcadian ancestry in modern Norway, particularly in western regions. While this supports the idea of Irish admixture back into Norway, it could also indicate Norwegian haplotypes in Ireland, Scotland, and Orkney. The analysis estimates up to 20% Norwegian ancestry in Ireland, though a lower limit could not be determined. To investigate evidence of admixture into Ireland from European sources, scientists performed 
globetrotter analysis on the combined European, Irish, and British dataset used in the regression-based ancestry profiling. The globetrotter method models the source populations as a mixture of surrogates who may or may not be ancestrally related to the actual source populations. The results suggest an admixture event in Ireland involving a Scandinavian component during the Viking era. The largest cluster, Northern Ireland II, has the oldest admixture date, approximately 11 generations ago. This admixture event involved two sources, contributing 0.34 and 0.66 ancestry. The genetic structure of settled Irish contrasts with the higher differentiation seen in Irish travelers. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.